Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to talk about a problem that we all face. The art blocks. Why does it happen? What are its effects and how to fight it? But before all that, let's first discuss what it actually is. So remember that feeling when you get when you just can't put something down on your canvas? Or even if you do, you end up erasing or deleting it. Well, that probably is an art block. It's when you feel like you can't come up with any good ideas or do not feel satisfied with anything you are trying to draw. It's very frustrating and demotivating. The reasons behind an art block might be different. Maybe you are tired, physically or mentally. Maybe there is something else on your mind that is stressing you out and not letting you focus properly. Maybe your work is starting to feel dull and monotonous and you are in desperate need of a change or something fresh and new. Maybe the work you thought would really kick ass is not turning into a masterpiece you thought it would be. Undue and excessive criticism can also have similar effect. It hurts your morale and motivation and leaves you feeling drained and uninspired. And to be honest, it's not very hard to tell if someone is really trying to help you out and wants you to improve or just criticizing for the sake of criticism. You just feel like you can't draw or be creative anymore. But the thing is, this art block can't stay with you forever. And while reminding yourself of this, you can work on ways to fix it. So how can you get rid of this feeling of hopelessness and get back on your creative track? The first way to get over an art block would be to address its possible cause. For example, if it's because of a stressful or tiring day, it's okay to give your mind some time to relax. You could watch or read something you like, or maybe just go to bed early and take a long recharging sleep. Once your brain has recharged, it would be easier to get those creative juices flowing. Early mornings are especially great for this. I have tried and tested it. I can get more done if I wake up and start early. You can also try switching things up. Sometimes your work can get tedious and boring and that can leave you feeling dull. This time is an indicator that you need to shift things a bit and bring in new perspective to your work. For instance, if I have been doing too many figure drawings lately, I could switch to landscapes. And if I am doing too much fantasy related artworks, I could experiment with some sci-fi stuff. I could even shift towards something completely different like stylized illustration or gesture sketches. This practice will would help me get away from my routine and I can come back feeling refreshed and recharged. You can also try this by trying out new materials. If you have been painting digitally for too long, maybe try some traditional mediums. How about some Copic markers or charcoals? Trying out something new can be an exciting experience. Since it would be different from what you are used to, you won't need to push yourself to meet your usual expectations. And this will put your mind at ease and be more open to experimentation. Remember that the key is to keep things fresh and engaging because art is supposed to be something that you enjoy as well. Another way would be to exhaust all of your weak ideas so you can pave the way for the better, the more interesting and creative ideas. So if you have an idea that is terrible in your opinion, get it out of your system. Just draw it because putting them down would give them a physical form. With that physical form, you can now observe these ideas visually so you can try to understand what makes them so bad which will help you fix those mistakes and learn from them and maybe you'll realize that some of those ideas actually have the potential to become something more interesting also maybe you could try changing your environment working in the same room or workspace for a long time can make you feel dull and uninspired so it is always a good idea to change your surroundings sometimes you just need a change of pace to refresh your perspective and get the ideas flowing if you can't understand what to draw you can just pick a few things from your surroundings and play with them for a little while who knows something interesting might pop out another method of overcoming an art block is to select a theme or a prop it could be a ring or a sword or a mysterious chest now that you have a theme or a prop you have a starting point which you can use to create stuff around once you have these primary elements it would be easier to get the ball rolling and you know testing out some different compositional sketches and eventually reaching at a final result. If you don't want to be so random, you can also go about it by taking on an art challenge. There are pretty good ones on ArtStation from time to time. Or how about
about I start in our challenge thing on my discord. Like the idea, comment down below and let me know. You could also select a story as a starting point. If you select a story, you can choose a scene from it and try imagining it and what it would look like. Then start working on illustrating it. When faced with an art block, don't go about trying to be perfect. Instead, be more fluid and spontaneous. Another way of approaching a story is to select a few of the most awe-inspiring moments you can think of from any movie, series, or anime and study them. Try to understand what makes them stand out from the rest. Is it the lighting, the perspective, the expression, the symbolism, or is it something else that comes to mind? Try incorporating these different elements and create your own own work out of it. Research is also as important as practice. It will help build your visual vocabulary and help you understand what you want to achieve with your artwork. It will also expose you to new things and new ideas and make it easier for you to express your vision. So building your visual library is very important. A great way to build your visual library is to study a lot from reference. This will enable you to draw accurate poses and anatomy, place values correctly, understand how the perspective and composition works and stuff like that. Many times you watch some tutorial videos or read some art books and create a false sense or feeling that you have now learned new knowledge and you'll be able to do it when the time comes. But the truth is, that doesn't happen. If you don't implement and refine what you have learned, you won't be able to transfer those ideas onto your canvas, leading to an art block. The last thing I'd like to mention while we talk about overcoming an art block is to try to draw something you love. When you are frustrated about the artwork you are producing, try to paint something you really like. For me, it's mostly some Lord of the Rings inspired stuff. But for you, it can be anything. You just need to find it out. But maybe just try to do it for yourself and not for the sake of posting it on social media. When you know something is just for your own sake and not for anyone else to see, it is easier to be more free and experimental. I always mention this thing that I've learned from pro artists. It's that you should always keep a sketchbook which nobody should ever see. It should not contain anything that you should post on social media. It's just for yourself. And in that sketchbook, make mistakes. Experiment with different mediums. Just do anything you like. It will help you explore yourself as an artist and make you learn new stuff. Alright, if you made it this far in the video, you are awesome. I hope you guys liked this video, hope you learned a thing or two. If you did, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye bye.